Not want to stop then. Stopping, stopping, stopping. Yeah, we stopped it. Woo! So, guys, today I'd like to introduce you to a 1970 Reliant Regal Supervan 3. Uh, my first ever three wheeler experience. There's some serious excitement in me, and there's some serious worry as well. But that's part of the three wheel experience, don't you worry about that. But we're gonna get on the road and enjoy this thing. This is set to be one of the weirdest videos I've ever done in my entire life. Right, let's get us started, let's get on the road. Okay, it won't start. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that mighty 600cc. Oh, it's gone off again. It's mint, don't worry about it. It is mint, don't worry about it. No, it's dead again. <laughs> Attempt number 40. It's alive! I did it! Basically, when you come to a stop or at any point, use the handbrake to, to ease in, keep the revs blipped, but not too blipped so it dies, and knock it out of gear and pump the brake at the same time. All of that needs to happen as you slow this thing down. Absolutely hilarious. Right, let's do this. We've got some upgrades, correct ties, and lots of water coming to the top. Reliant Regal Supervan 3 with a with an only Thorson and horses livery I'm gonna say this is a livery now this thing is probably the most dangerous and fun thing I've ever driven in my entire life I've driven some exciting fun cars in my life but this has got to be right up there let's just say and to don the cap as well this actually does come with a full-on big mobile phone and a cap and that as well because obviously when you're parking you need to throw that in there now the negotiation of corner number one nice and slowly because i do not want to put this thing on two wheels let's just say that it's really weird to explain the sensation you get from a free wheeler when you are coming into a corner let's say the pitch of the car wants you to actually roll over now i won't roll over mike's nice only Fools and Horses replica because I don't want to do that. And these are made out of fiberglass. Now the body is actually steel on these, but the car on top of it is fully fiberglass. Even the doors here are fiberglass. The only bit of metal is actually around the door frame. Hilarious to drive though, you, it's, it's just so weird. And the amount of attention this thing gets, I've driven a lot of cars that get a lot of attention, but this is sort of on another level. Suspension is terrible, but in such a comedy way, the actual front wheel seems to go wherever it fancies. And when you do let go of the steering wheel, it turns right very viciously. Absolutely hilarious though, in a hilarious way. I've got big love for crazy, silly cars like this. Mike actually uses this quite often, you know, on a weekly basis, going to the bank, going to wherever he needs to, local. It's just a good bit of fun. trying to dodge the potholes so bad down this road it is just a handful to drive because the steering wheel although it has a lot of feel in it i can feel that front wheel there because it's one wheel it darts all across the road <laughs> it's so stiff i can't believe how stiff this thing is oh absolutely hilarious the indicator just down here as you guys may be able to see slow down a little bit going to here oh, i'm so worried about tipping it over you have no idea biggest smile on my face ever though it's, it's actually hilarious to drive this around because the, the amount of people that you know can spot this thing coming and know the show and know what this thing's all about so hilarious let's go third gear third gear 
Oh yeah, third gear, 23 miles an hour. We are rocking and rolling right now. We get over 20 mile an hour and the steering becomes vicious, I think the word is. It's so playful at the front end, in a worrying way. In a worrying way, like you don't quite know the direction of the car. You don't quite know where it's gonna go, but I think it just pitches and, and goes where it fancies, where it sees a bit of a groove in the road. Go for second gear, pop her down, because we're inclining now. This engine has absolutely no power. Absolutely no power, but in a comedy way, because you can actually rev it. Although there's no rev counter, that makes it quite interesting um, for gear changes because you don't quite know where you are in the rev. So you're just sort of guessing really as to what's best for the car. If you are right up in the revs as well, it's not like it's going anywhere. So you're not really gonna break any land speed records in this thing. Right, knock it out of gear, pump the brake. I did it, I did it, amazing. Where am I going? Into gear, indicator is on. Build them revs up because she likes to die. Indicator off, second gear grab. Oh, second gear rev it right out into third. That's 18 miles an hour there, wow. Now although the comedy factor is 100% here in this car, you cannot deny the qualityness of this thing. It is so funny, you get so much attention. It's been so iconic from, you know, the TV show, right? Corner number three, rev down, keeping it just over 10 mile an hour there. Yeah, now I know a lot of people will probably want me to put this thing on two wheels for a general laugh, but I respect Mike for having such a nice version of this. Genuinely, this is such a nice car. Although very rattly, it's the 70s car. It's, you know, very, very old. Now nearly 50 years old this thing is, and. The fact that it's still on the road being used so much. Hats off to you, mate, all day long. Hats off to you. So guys, let's take a quick look around this Reliant Regal Supervan 3. Now I want to go through this car because it is honestly something I've never even been around. And I'm assuming you guys have never even seen before, let alone been around either. Now this is a three-wheeler with an 850cc Reliant engine in it. So it's been swapped out from the original 700cc engine. Just for reliability really, this engine has been swapped into this one. But let's go around it because this actually started life as, you know, any normal yellow Reliant Regal and it's actually had all of the patina and the stickers and everything put on it by Mike himself. So it's had fantastic patina look. This is actually a mint condition reliant regal underneath all of this sort of blemish and paint splatter on the car it is a mint condition version of itself coming down to the body styling though it's just like sort of a wedge at the end of the day uh, fully fiberglass body with a steel chassis underneath the only things that are steel actually on the bodywork of this car are actually the window surrounds themselves just there coming down you've got all the patina looking even down to like the spray on the tires as well tires another thing to point out one how small they are look how small the actual section is and also these are still cross ply tires you know old school tires on an old school car coming around to the branding though you've got independent trading co trotters on the side uh, coming down obviously so period correct New York Paris Peckham as well with the suitcase on the roof with the roof rack and everything it's been so properly done this thing so so good coming into the back of it open it just up there that's where you'd usually find some uh, dodgy videos and stuff but in this one completely pristine inside even enough room for my camera gear as well which is pretty good going now the bodywork itself is in pretty much original condition other than you know what's been put on top but fantastic look and if we come inside obviously this car comes with all of the original TV props, including the hat I'm wearing, had to wear that for the shoot, but it actually has all of the cool stuff here. So you have midwife, just put that in there like that. And a movie set telephone as well. Such a cool attention to detail in this inside mint condition with the tiger door cards as well. It's just so right. 
absolutely fantastic looking thing and shout out to this as well tax in the post so so funny fluffy dice in there as well so original of the tv series it's just got so much character driving this thing around in today's roads with today's cars it gets so much attention i have actually been stopped about three or four times just to take pictures with it and stuff the amount of people that know exactly what this car is is so awesome you know in 2018 you don't see these around on the road so to have it for the day is actually something quite special i've enjoyed every single second with this thing it's been hilarious even when it's not started i thought it was so funny so massive shout out to mike again absolute legend for owning this right. thing junction rev down pop it into neutral pump the brake and all this to skoda he is learning how to drive don't you dare die don't you dare die on me i'm not having it i'm not having it the closest b road i know because you guys want to see me take this down a b road is down here so let's go and test out the performance which i can't believe i'm saying that in a three-wheeler why am i saying that in a three-wheeler <laughs> space and comfort let's talk about that you got more than enough space behind me here it's a van not really a van though is it it's just it's just a small space is what that is um, more than enough leg room here i have to actually wear quite small shoes in this shoot because the firewall which is right here is absolutely boiling hot right here is where the engine is some sort of brake horsepower i can't claim numbers because it feels like it's about four now taking it rather gingerly down here because i know that you have to pump the brakes a little bit to get them going which is just a classic car thing you know you have to remember that you have to pump the brakes at every point just in case because you never know when you might need to actually brake 25 miles an hour now guys 25 pump that brake a little bit because we are coming up to a corner and i dare to find out how good the handling is on this thing oh it sways so bad so bad coming out the other side flat foot 27 miles an hour now 30 31 31 still and de-accelerating because there's a corner coming and i am not going any faster than 20 odd mile an hour into that corner what you guys can't smell is the exhaust and petrol fumes that are coming into the cabin right now i'm going to be rather intoxicated after this shoot i have this feeling flip down oh second gear right second gear flat taps 25 30 35 fourth gear 38 and quirky and it's got so much character and you do not get craziness like this these days a massive thank you to mike the owner of this beautiful regal for letting me take it out today on this pristine summer's day i've had such a good time in this thing he owns on white bouncy castles and if you are in the market for a bouncy castle for anything he is the man to go to he has some fantastic bouncy castles i'm going to take this thing back and enjoy it and i'll see you all on the next video cheers guys